year, more than 50 people lose their lives on the roads of Tyne and Weir, and over 500 people are seriously injured. Road Respect is a campaign seeking to make those changes to promote safer roads, better driving, more respect amongst road users, and above all, to save lives. We're all guilty of breaking some of the most basic of motoring rules. Drivers get caught doing the most ridiculous things. We're going to show you just how easy it is to get distracted. So here is what they need to do. Our victims have to go around our track performing various challenges. As adjudicator, I'll keep my beady eye on how they're doing and I will be very harsh. What they don't know yet is that they're penalised, not rewarded for completing each task, highlighting just how easy it is to get distracted. Now, Harry, what's it like when you come out of your racing car and get into a normal car on the roads? Do you take any of those tricks with you or are you a safe driver? No, I'm a safe driver. I mean, it definitely helps, to be honest. You know, you learn a lot about car control and when you feel like you're on the edge, you're on the edge of safety, you're not on the edge of the, the limits of the car. So, to be honest, it's not very exciting driving quick on the road. It's just dangerous. Three, two, one. <laughs> open the sandwich, <laughs> Harry. Just a little open, a little tear will do. All right, we're in. All right, we're in. OK, off we go. I want you to find the location, page 54, G4. Tell me what's on there. I really wish I could learn how to read a map when I was a kid. Like, oh, we've come to a halt. Talking about Elgin. Oh, perfect. Move on. Now I want you to put on your best lipstick, please. <laughs> Here's red lipstick, of course. We want to let you wear that. Will do. Yeah, yeah, well, that'll do, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit on. How much? Like, loads? Just a little bit. Just what you'd wear on a normal night out, Harry. Yeah, obviously, yeah. When you get to number three, you're going to see a bus stop just around the corner. Oh, yeah, OK, yeah. OK, I want to tell me the beautiful figures that you see. Uh, Homer Simpson. Yeah. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Done. Nice. Um, some sort of zombie thing. Uh, oh, Doctor Who, I can't remember what it's called. Is that James Dean? And then my pal Elvis yeah. as well. Can you pull out Amy Winehouse from the CDs and put Amy into the car, would you usually actually stop Harry on a usual road? Well, I might do, yeah, you know, it might make it a bit more exciting. <laughs> let's, um, let's get a little bit of speed happening. Right, you're going to come up to number five. Do you usually use a sat-nav, Harry? OK, yeah. Right, I want you to press the navigate button, then the address input, and then I want to type in Newcastle. You're from Newcastle, aren't you, Harry, local boy? Um, yeah, I am, but I kind of find it on here. OK, number six. Harry, I'm imagining you haven't got any children, but there is a baby in the back seat. Just turn around to pick up the yellow dummy and put it into the baby's mouth. Kissing me on the back of the head at the moment. <laughs> OK, yeah. Uh... We are sending you a text message. Text message is sent. Can you tell me what it says? Yeah, uh, two seconds. Yeah, yeah. We've got all the seconds Harry, in the world. Harry, you need to eat the cream cake on the seat and then have a drink of water. Um, the cream cake's actually in a bit of a mess on the floor down here now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say it was all glamour, did we? <laughs> oh, well, hold on. Excuse me, does this sign say... When red light shows, stop here. It does, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that lipstick. <laughs> this is the best <laughs> lipstick I've ever seen. <laughs> I am loving this. Practice, of course. Um, that was kind of hard, that like. Harry did complete the tasks that were set for him, which of course means he does have quite a few penalty points to add to his license. However, a couple of times he did actually obey the highway code and do the right thing. So, as I'm a very nice person, I will take some of the points off. But seeing as he has been caught on camera breaking the law, he would have been brought before the Crash TV court and banned. A lot of campaigns get on their soapboxes and point the finger. Now, we've had a lot of fun making this, but we hope you take away a little bit of extra road respect.